a bunch of cranes. Um, we've designed a product that makes the alarm better. Um, so I'm just going to demonstrate what the factory alarm on this particular machine sounds like and install it, show you guys the install process and then show you what it sounds like afterwards. So this is what it currently sounds like if you shake or tilt the machine. So I know you can turn up the volume on this, but it also turns up the sound while you're playing the game. And a lot of our locations have expressed that the sound is just too loud if we go higher than that. So with our kit, it separates the shake sensor from the volume of the machine. And you can set both independently, as well as the shake sensor will last longer than without it. machine alarm kit uh, when you purchase that from us what you'll get is you'll get the alarm board controller a remote alarm this is a built-in alarm but it's not as loud so we're probably just not going to include it on the board anymore and then you'll get uh, instructions with it I don't have the instructions because I designed it um, so I know it's a little dark in there but so this kit was designed specifically for smart industries equipment but it can work with other stuff uh, like a key master that we're going to swap out the alarm on as well and the reason we want to do that is same thing the alarm goes for too long it goes for about 30 seconds which drives our locations crazy and the other issue is if you have it loud enough so that you can hear the alarm the volume is again too loud when you're playing so anyways if you're installing this into a smart industries crane all you have to do is disconnect this j2 connector run the wire down in behind this panel mount the alarm board here take these wires for the tilt sensor cut them connect them to the board and connect your alarm and everything will work perfectly there. So I'm going to do some of that and then show you. So I have connected the sense wires from the tilt sensor into the correct position on the board. The orientation of these two wires does not matter. You can connect them either way as long as they're in the correct uh, header pin on the board. Uh, what I'll do now is I will route the wire with the correct connection over to the J2 pin. I'll mount the alarm board down here low so it still allows access to that if you ever got to remove that LCD and then I'll attach the, the siren or something over here somewhere and it'll be done. So I have it completely installed now. As you can see the wires for the aftermarket alarm there just run along with the harness. If you wanted you could zip tie it up. I probably won't do that. Uh, and then they just run under here, down and over to the side. And then the wiring for the siren goes there. Uh, not gonna lie, probably should have read the instructions. Um, the positive goes on the bottom, not on the top. Um, it works now. Everything's good to go. I would test it with the door open, but it's very loud. So we will wait till we close the door um turning the potentiometer all the way clockwise is the lowest setting which is 0.2 seconds turning it all the way counterclockwise is the longest setting which is three seconds so you can set it anywhere in between it doesn't matter the longest is three seconds the shortest is 0.2 seconds once we get this all set up we'll do a video and show you how loud it is Um, so we have it set fairly short. My wife thinks it's still too long, but it needs to be long enough that it stops people from shaking it, but it can't be too long that the location gets annoyed. So we'll, uh, I'll close up the door and I'll show you how loud it is. Uh, arcade machine alarm that we designed. Uh, it no longer 
tells you to stop shaking the machine on the machine and the volume of the alarm is completely disconnected from the sound of the machine. We've set the time to just over the minimum because uh, the minimum, it just it's like a little chirp and that's it. Um, but it's definitely not at the maximum. So I will shake the machine and you guys will see the difference uh, in sound. Do it again. Want to do it again? It's, it's loud. Uh, I'll do it one more time. So that I don't know if you'll hear it in the video well enough, but it is more than loud enough to alert everybody within this area that something is happening with this machine. I would I would say it's almost like your vehicle alarm going off. It is it is loud and obnoxious. So, like me. Yeah. So it <clears throat> should be good to go now. Uh, I did only bring t three, so we can only do the three cranes here. We're going to leave the key master for now. And that one's loud enough anyways. It's just eventually we do want to disconnect it from the sound of the machine so they can be independent. And it's just way too long. 30 seconds is absurdly long. We had a location put one of our machines in a order because it was going on too long and they A thought it was broken and B didn't want to hear it anymore. So we're gonna solve that problem. Uh, I don't think anybody shakes that machine anyways because it's never been moved and they're like 600 pounds. But these ones, every time we come here, they'll be moved over six inches or turned on their side or, or whatever. So we know people are moving these machines and this should solve our problem.